YouTube, welcome back to episode 13 of the Group Iron Man series. Right now, I want to go work on Throne of Miscellania, and then afterwards, we got to do Royal Trouble. It's time we start working on our kingdom. We have quite a lot of money now, and we're going to get a lot of good seeds and other benefits from it. So the fairy ring code to get over to Miscellania is CIP. And with how immature that I actually am mentally, this is just as funny to me as the one that takes you to Zolra. Seriously, look it up. You know, this is kind of the problem with spam clicking. I spam click through the intro of this quest, and uh, Quest Helper only helps you if you choose the princess instead of the prince. But uh, you know what? It's 2023, so we're going to do what we can do. Wow, okay, I actually never knew this before, but apparently, if you're chilling here and you're trying to get your favor up pretty quickly, as long as you wait for the first level of weeds to come in and you hop worlds, the next world you go to, they'll be fully grown. So this is way faster. I've done this so many times in my life, I never knew this. Oh, nice. There we go. So we got 100% favor now, which is actually a hard task in the Fremenic area. So not bad. We can go finish up the quest. Believe it or not, that only took me like five minutes. It was awesome. And there we go. That is Throne of Miscellanea completed. Next up, we got to do Royal Trouble so we can max out the uh, Miscellanea management stuff. And then we'll be good to go. Also, only two quest points away from 200 already. That's crazy. So I've never actually paid too much attention to this quest, Royal Trouble, when I've done it in the past. But it's literally about a group of teenagers who got drunk. And then somehow got so drunk that they ended up in these caverns. Now you got to like save them by killing a snake and the guy's asking you to not tell his dad. It's, it's super strange, actually. That's the quest completed. We get 5,000 Agility Slayer and hit points. We get 20,000 coins and increased miscellaneous resources. I was really hoping that this quest would give me two quest points, though, because now we're just one away from 200. Anyway, I need to go grab some money so that we can actually manage our miscellaneous. All right, so just to start, I think I'm going to do 750,000, which should be about 10 days of miscellanea. Hopefully we can make that money back in um, that amount of time. Yeah, so I think for now I'm going to do 100% on herbs and the rest of it in wood. Um, I could end up changing this depending on what I want in the future, but I'm pretty happy with this right now. I completely missed the clip because I don't really pay attention when I'm here, but there is level 61 mining. We're still working on that goal of getting our mining to 65 so that we can finish off the Lovacane favor in current by actually making the armor crates with the Lovakite ore, which is what you need 65 mining for. I don't know if I'm going to go straight for it, but I'm just going to be chipping away at this, no pun intended, um, every chance I get. All right, so I actually just picked up a Lizardman task from Konar in the Lizardman settlement, which I believe does have an area where we can try to kill the Lizardman shamans. Last episode, I did manage to pick up the entire Shazian armor set, so this is something we can actually look towards doing right now. Uh, it's going to be a little scuffed. We don't have all of the things that you really want to be able to do this, but we should be able to get some kills, no problem. So the last time that I actually killed Lizardman Shamans was probably, I don't know, four years ago. It's been a very long time. From what I remember, um, they can jump up in the air and stomp on you, but you can avoid that by being close to the walls. They have the little purple guys that spawn, who I'm pretty sure you just run away from. And then I believe you just pray ranged and stay away from melee distance. That's what I'm going to try anyway, and we're going to see how this goes. There's the little purple guys, so you just run away, and then they should, like, explode? Yeah, there we go. All right, now imagine our very first ever Lizardman Shaman. We get the Dragon Warhammer. That would be something. <laughs> not quite, not quite. We got some Zeretian fabric. Anyway, yeah, I guess we can do our Lizardman Shaman test here, as long as we have the prayer potions, that is, because uh, this task does use a lot of prayer. Just got our first Warhammer from Shamans. It was Rune, of course, but, uh, you know. All right, not bad. 21 kills on our first trip, and Budef just got smacked in the wilderness. That's hilarious. But yeah, uh, the only reason we actually have to leave is because of prayer. So that was pretty decent. Uh, it went pretty well. Obviously, the kills are pretty slow at the moment, um, but they do have some decent drops. They've got some pretty good alkables, some pretty good herbs and seeds and things like that. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, well, unfortunately, we didn't get anything from shamans this time around. However, my next task was a Black Dragons, and we're already running low on Broadbolts again. So I think it's about time we actually go make some Headless Arrows and we train our Fletching to 55. I need to be able to make my own Broadbolts. It's becoming a serious problem now. So the idea for training Fletching is we need a bunch of Arrow Shafts. Um, first, I want to get up to level 52 Fletching because that's going to allow us to make Broad Arrows. Now, in order to actually get to 52 Fletching, we're going to need about 70,000 Headless Arrows. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be hopping worlds a few times, buying these, and um, we've got plenty of feathers from Birdhouse Runs, but I may need to buy a few more of those as well. All right, I got 24,000 Arrow Shafts right now, um, which isn't 
how many we're going to need. I also bought some arrow tips as well, just because if we can speed it up a little bit, that might be good. Anyway, the best part about this is you can actually do these while you're doing basically anything else in the game. For example, la -di da la -di da do some agility, and yeah, it's kind of like free passive XP while you're training something else, so it's not too bad. All right, there we go. That is the first agility level coming in. I know it seems like it sucks fletching while also doing agility, but let me tell you, when you get into the rhythm with it, it's just so efficient. It's actually kind of fun in its own like masochistic kind of way. Anyway, um, we've done 10,000 arrows so far. We've gotten a couple of fletching levels up to 45, so we're just going to keep on going. You know, while I'm going crazy and running in circles here, I figured it would be a good time to shout out our clan coin pouch, please. We've got 65 members right now. It's pretty active so far. And also the Discord. I have a Discord. There is an OSRS section. If you're looking for people to game with, come join us, man. There's a link in the description. But yeah, if you guys want to join the clan, join the Discord, that would be awesome. I'd love to get to game with you guys a bit more. It's definitely the best way to get a hold of me or to talk to me. I am addicted to agility fletching. There's level 65 agility. We are up to 47 fletching. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm just doing this and making progress, and it's going well. I'm actually just about to be out of arrow shafts, so I'm going to turn these into iron and steel arrows, but afterwards we're probably going to have to buy some more. We've made it up to 50 fletching, which means we only have like a level and a half to go right now until we can do broad bolts, or broad arrows I should say, but there is level 66 agility. Jeez, about 200 laps of the... Sears Village Agility Course, and that is level 52 Fletching, which means we can go buy broader Fletching now. Of course, we won't actually be able to make the broad bolts just yet. Um, we're going to have a little bit more Fletching to do to get to 55. However, it's going to be so much quicker with the broad arrows. So first off, 300 Slayer Points. That is broader Fletching purchased. And we can go ahead and trade Konar, and we can actually buy these packs of broad arrowheads. Each one of these packs contains 100 broad arrowheads, and they cost 5,500 coins. Now, according to this calculator I found online, we're going to need about 5,000 of these to get up to 55 fletching. That's a decent chunk of change spent on that, but totally worth it. 5,000 broad arrowheads, just look at the 6P. Just watch. Oh my goodness, 150 each time. This is going to be quick. Yeah, and that literally took like 15 more minutes. Not even. Maybe, maybe 10 minutes since I got 52 fletching. There's 55 fletching. Now we can make our own broad bolts. Um, we don't have to rely on S anymore. That's going to be fantastic. So anyway, now that the fletching grind is done, I am going back to Slayer for the rest of tonight at least. I think tomorrow me and some of the guys want to go do Mornings End Part 2, which should be really fun um, for all of us to try and do that quest. If you know what it is, then you know how annoying it can be sometimes. A couple of things I've noticed, I haven't got a superior creature yet, um, so we could luckily get one with worms. Also, level 68 Slayer. And also, I forgot my elk runes, so this trip was short-lived. Alright, it is indeed the next day, and it appears Jagex actually already decided on a new skill, and it's sailing. And I could not be more happy about this. That's exactly what I was going to vote for anyway. I'm glad they took the initiative. Alright, just a quick little medium casket, maybe rangers? Not quite, but we got ourselves a U combo, not too bad. Uh, S just got his second dragon harpoon today, and we get the dragon sword. Same drop rate, by the way. That's freaking cool. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> anyway, we're just about 77 strength. I mean, at least it is technically better at worms because they're weak to stab. There's a couple of places where this can actually be a little bit useful sometimes, but I really would have rather to harpoon, to be honest. You've got to be actually kidding me right now. This is S's third dragon harpoon. He's killed like, I don't know, 600 worms in total. Uh, I guess I have one now, though. <laughs> I guess that one would probably be mine. Oh my goodness, my first superior, and it's the big blood vel. Oh man, that is grotesque, to say the least. <laughs> wow, okay, awesome. Hopefully we get the imbued heart first try. That would be so cool. Come on, do it just cuz. Not quite. What does Bodhi always say? All my days? Oh my days? Anyway, we got a hard casket, so let's see. Uh, well, we got some alcohols. So I don't think the guys want to do Mornings End Part 2 today. Um, sometimes the schedules just don't always work out. Uh, you know, Budef is literally on the opposite uh, end of the world from us. And other things, sometimes you just don't want to do a super annoying quest. You know what I mean? So instead, I've just been doing Slayer all day. 
I've had so many good tasks, Worms, Blood Velts, now Abbey Specs. It's like all my favorite tasks just mixed into one day. It's been fantastic. And that is level 78 strength as well, which also was 1,500 total level. The progress has been crazy. We're also almost up to 92 combat. All right, there we go. Now the superiors are rolling in. It took like four or five tasks after I actually got uh, the bigger and better upgrade. Um, and those were all viable tasks. They all had superior versions, and I never got one. But now we've got two in a row, so this is awesome. Hopefully, we can get lucky with these. Look at that. Easy 2,500 Slayer XP. No heart. Sad. Scam. Game. Nice. One thing I've started to actually do now is farm my giant seaweed. Um, you get so many every single time. I, mean, I basically just do this every birdhouse run. It's essentially an unlimited supply of soda ash, which is so good for crafting. There are more benefits to Slayer than just Slayer, of course. And uh, I've ended up with quite a few steel and mithril bars. Now, apparently, using an alloy of these two at the Giant's Foundry can get you like 130 to 140k experience an hour. We currently have 135,000 smithing experience, so that means in one hour we could potentially double our smithing experience. I have no idea how far this many bars will get us, but I think I'm going to head over there and try it out. The last time I was at Giant's Foundry, I really enjoyed myself. However, just going through the wiki page and looking up a bunch of information for this, it's not as easy as it seems. A lot of the information is kind of convoluted and a little confusing. From what I can tell, if I'm using steel and mithril, I'm going to want to use 19 steel bars and 9 mithril bars. Apparently, this here is the best combination of the two. Now, I'm pretty sure you can increase your experience per hour if you use 14 and 14, but it ends up giving you 5 tasks on here. It takes longer to make. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys down in the comments could let me know. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to go with. We're going to see how much XP one of these swords gets us. All right, I was a little rusty. Um, I think I might have messed up a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Let's go ahead and see how much experience this gets us. 9,000. That took like no time at all as well. Beautiful. Already up to 53 smithing. I'm really hoping we have enough in the bank to get us to 60. All right, this one here should be level 55 smithing. This XP here is absolutely insane, man. Um, I don't even know how much I've gotten. I've barely been here 20 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten like 35 to 40,000 XP. So yeah, this is pretty crazy. Wow. Well, I've been here for probably about an hour in game time. It's hard for me to say because I went and had dinner in between, but this right here should be already level 60 smithing, which is just insane to me. This was so fast. It was crazy. Now, I think that's where I'm going to stop with Giant's Foundry for now. I'm very happy with the amount of XP that we got, but I mean, one day we're going to have to go for 70 smithing because that is a requirement for Dragon Slayer 2. Um, but I mean, what? That'll take like another three or four hours at this rate? <laughs> of course, you have to get all the supplies beforehand, but yeah, this was fantastic. All right, so S just hit me with a proposition. Dagonoff Kings. We might go check these out right now. This could be a ton of fun. We have a clan member named Sat by Spider. Uh, he's uh, been in the clan since we started it, so I think we're going to go down with him. Wait, yeah. wait, uh, your character looks like a dad who's wearing fucking blue jeans with like a tucked in collared shirt, and he clearly does not Dude. fit in the shirt. <laughs> like, this is like, what do you mean? Like he's wearing... I'm wearing this in real life right now. <laughs> I... Come on. Nice, yeah, nice. so Dot's actually a um, a method actor. <laughs> look a at joke. you with that belly. <laughs> Dude, God, I damn. know. I've been, I've been drinking that. a little too oh, much man. lately. Oh, damn. Wife made burgers. I had hot dogs too. <laughs> oh, uh, that's actually really good. Yeah, come on down. Come on down. Um, right. as fair, you're gonna instantly attack Supremes in the front. Just, okay. just go for him. Pray range when you come down here, guys. <laughs> Are you guys good? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I am very dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving then. <laughs> okay. Um, come down. All right, well, I'm going to fucking throw on Mage Prayer. No, Prayer Range. Prayer Range, okay. Prayer range. You might Prayer Mage. Yeah, Prayer Mage now, Prayer Mage now. Oh, Prayer Mage, Prayer Mage. I got, I got the Ranger on me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yep. Okay, I got the Major on me. You're good to pray. I need, prayer range. I need to grab my shit. I need to grab my shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't go too close to Prime. I can't lure him back. I, I'm so going to die again. I can hear the panic in S's voice. <laughs> Honestly. Hey man, I got the easy job. <laughs> yeah. He has a job upstanding still and 
uh, reading a book while he kills a mob. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Super what the? Oh my what? god, I'm praying! Oh my god, I was praying fucking ranged against the major. You're fucking with me. <laughs> I... I've... I'm Wait. over this. I'm so over this. Did you die? Oh us? my god. No, I I went to go attack Supreme because Supreme was yeah. up there and respawned yeah, and, and like went to move. On him. And Prime aggroed on me and I was stuck oh. having to try to swap between mage and range. Yeah. And I got caught with like two forties and died. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm fucking over this. I'm over this. I'm sorry. I couldn't kill him fast enough. <laughs> I'm so over this. I'm sorry. I couldn't kill him fast enough. Yeah, I'm you're sorry. good. You're good. If I have to. I, yeah, I'm 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 chilling. Right now, Big man's chilling. gonna be sitting there for the next hour. He can just have, uh, <laughs> yeah. he can just have S run supplies for him at this point. No, I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to kill. Calvin I just use you for a free uh, taxi to this cave. To be honest, <laughs> S, do you want to do Calvarion with me? No. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna take this moment here to explain. So S died twice on our way down here. Um, but Spider's over there dealing with Prime, and I'm pulling Rex and dealing with Rex. So hey, I'm gonna take the. Uh, free Dagonoth kills while we're down here. Maybe we could pull out a Berserker ring. That would be pretty cool. But uh, if not, that's all right, too. Rock um, shell legs. Oh, you son of a bitch. 1 and 128 drop. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no! Nice! But, I mean, I it's know, good, that's but something. that's not the ring I wanted. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the Warrior Ring Clan, bro. Nice to meet Damn. you. Damn. Anyway, yeah, that was 20 KC at Rex. I think I might get one or two more kills before I head out of here. But yeah, this was definitely a success. Okay, so it's the next day, and it's kind of shaping up to be a day full of PvP. Last night, when S got annoyed that he died two times at uh, the Dagonoth Kings, he went to LMS, and he actually got himself the Rune Pouch, which now I'm jealous of that. And also, we do need to imbue the Warrior Ring. It literally doubles the stats. Now, before we jump into any of that, we must do our daily hispori. Please, God, compost bucket thing. Like, it's literally just a bucket. It's it's really not too tough. Just bucket. It. It's 1 in 35. Bucket. <sighs> All right, so the plan is today we're going to start off at the PvP arena. We're actually not too far away from a scroll of imbuing. We have 145 points, and obviously we need 200. Afterwards, we're going to head to LMS, but here's the thing about today. I'm going to be trying. <laughs> oh, God. The thing is, I actually do want to get better at PvP in this game. It's something that's always fascinated me. I've always thought it's so cool, but I've never really been that good. That kind of the extent of my experience has been like low-level Abby Mall. Obviously, it's a massive, steep learning curve, and maybe one day I might even do a series all about getting better at PvP. You guys will have to let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But anyway, I'm going to record everything today, and if I get any cool moments, I'll make sure to share them with you. All right, so actually Ian or Pure Spam is here right now on his group, Iron Man. So the games are kind of flying. There are so many people. Um, right now, the week is the one defense pure. If you're just doing the duels, I believe the tournaments are actually broken right now. Um, but yeah, the one defense pure is definitely my best setup just because it's so simple. Um, yeah, I'll see if we can get anything good. Uh, I've won two fights, lost one so far. So I only need a couple more for all my points. I don't care what happens, I'm winning this fight. Wait, you can get a Kodai? Shit, I still got the Ancient Staff. Fuck me, I'm so fucked. GG's! GG's! Alright, that was actually the last one I needed. That guy was just messing around. Um, I think we can go imbue our ring now. So, if we take a look at the stats right now, plus four slash in attack and defense, we use the scroll of imbuing on this. Yes, imbue this item. And now it doubles the stats, it's plus eight in each. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm here on the LMS world. Let's go take a look at how many points I currently have. We are sitting at 22 points, which means we need exactly 53 LMS points in order to get ourselves the rune pouch. I am going to stay here until we get it. I'll show you guys any interesting or cool fights. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm really in the mood to PK today. Oh, set! First kill, let's go! <laughs> He was so unhappy. He was killing me that whole fight. So, all right, next one. One defense beer. Like I said, this is my jam. Oh, I think this guy might be a bot. That's a very body name. Free kills. See what I mean? Like, um, some of these you just get free kills on, which is super nice. I think the bots join up and they want to fight each other. And when they don't, they just give up. So, yeah, there we go. I take the free points every single time. So, essentially, how the points work is if you get one kill, you're going to get a point for sure. 
Um, and then if you like get in the top 10, you get another point. I think if you get two kills, you get two points. If you get three kills, you get a bonus point. So you can actually get a lot of points per game, especially if you end up winning or something like that. But my kind of goal, because I'm not the best, is going to be to get a kill, wait to top 10, and then hopefully get another. Oh my god! I just won a game of LMS! <laughs> I won a game! I got six points from that! Let's go! I, there was like three bots and three real fights. That was... Wow, that was awesome. I've never won a game before. Look at this setup, dude. I can physically feel myself getting better. Um, I'm definitely not good by any means, but like any of the other casual people in here, I can generally win against. All right, just got three points, taking us to 50 total. That means only 25 more to go. I'm having a ton of fun with this, man. It's actually a good time. It's a long grind to get up to 75 points. Don't get me wrong. You have a lot of games that don't go your way, but I'm having fun. There it is, four points into 78 total points. Now we can go ahead, trade Justine. And after about, I don't know, three, maybe four hours, that is the rune pouch achieved. Look at that. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness that's over with. It was fun, but towards the end, I was definitely sick of it. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this one. We had so much progress this episode that I can barely remember the start of this episode. It was just nonstop action. So I want to say thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget a like, a comment, a subscription. Those things help a bunch, but I will catch you all in the next one. Later. Later.